digital license plates are now legal for every driver in California. Yeah, they started as a pilot program in 2018, but now any driver can get the new technology installed. And our Zara Barker. She's live in San Marcos, I got you, with uh, how the <laughs> digital license plates work. Hey, Zara. Good afternoon to both of you, at, uh, Andrew and Maria. Now, the company behind this says that this is an effort to modernize your next DMV appointment. They say about 30,000 cars across the state of California already have these digital license plates installed, and that's because of a new pilot program that started several years ago. But now they're available for every single driver across the state. Several people I talked to say they're excited about this new look, but others say they do have some security concerns. This may become a thing of the past. California is turning to more tech. All drivers are now able to swap their typical aluminum license plates and buy a digital one. They sound pretty cool. They're probably going to look cool in the cars too. Reviver, a Northern California based company, is behind this creation. The plates look similar to a Kindle and lets you customize colors and borders like a license plate frame. Reviver's chief strategy officer, Neville Boston, says this is a way to modernize the DMV. And all the other states look at California as, you know, basically best practices. So once it's here, it's everywhere. The plates come either battery powered for about $20 a month or a hardwired version for about $25 a month for four years. It's similar to a lease to own service. It works through a cloud subscription based program and sends data between the driver, the plate and DMVs. The plate connects to an app and lets you locate your vehicle, report it stolen and renew your registration without stepping foot into a DMV. Uh, anything that can save you time at the DMV is going to be great, but there is also a large swath of our society that cannot afford to spend any extra on their vehicles. If your vehicle is stolen, the license plate can change to say stolen to alert police. They're also working with emergency officials to roll this out for Amber Alerts. Auto expert Nick Miles says he has concerns with the new technology, but Boston says the software is safe. I think like anything else, when you start new technology, we're not sure about cybersecurity. We're not sure about the how efficient they will be. The, the owner of the, the plate has complete control over the information. And a few states, including Arizona and Michigan, have already legalized these digital license plates. There's about a dozen others that are currently in the legislative process to get this passed. There's no timeline on when that could happen. One question I did ask the CSO today that a lot of people asked me while I've been out reporting is, what happens if you don't pay that tag? Well, typically you just wouldn't put that new sticker on your license plate. He said with this one, no, your license plate will not shut off or alert authorities or anything like that. It would just simply not roll over to the next year. Live in San Marcos, Zara Barker, Fox 5 News.